Hello guys, welcome to Easy TV Present Tech View another episode. Today I'll show you guys uh, how you can reset um, any server or any uh, Windows operating systems local admin password. Like if you forget the password, then how you can log in uh, with like your local admin. And also if you don't know the local admin username, the reason I'm telling you like why you don't know your local admin. So in some cases, like most of the organization, they use GPU policy to rename the local admin because of the security reason. So whenever you have like different, different group on your organization, and if you use multiple GPU policy to rename based on the group, so say for example, XYZ, you use for team A. So you apply a GPU policy to rename the local admin. By default, all the servers, username or, or any Windows operating system, uh, local admin is, is administrator, username is administrator. But if you rename with the GPU, but you cannot recall it or you cannot remember it, in that case, how you can figure, uh, find out and also how we can reset the password. That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to jump in with my, uh, in my um, base center. So, so this is my vCenter and I have one server here. For example, I want to show you guys what you have to do. So right now this machine is joined with my domain. It's all, it's work fine, but some cases when you need to know, all the cases is not the same, but I'm just giving an example in one case. You like on your, side, maybe it can be different case. But anyway, you need to know the local admin username and password, which is called local admin credentials. <clears throat> so uh, I'm just giving an example. Um, if any incident happened, for example, you cannot, uh, you are trying to log in one um, Windows server or Windows machine or any, uh, say your laptop or something. You are trying, the machine is joined with the domain and you are trying to log in with your uh, domain user, your domain administrative user, or maybe your domain user, you are trying to log in. But after you put your username and password, it says um, a relationship, a trust relationship broken or something. That means the machine is already, machine is, is still joined with the domain, but is broken its trust relationship. That's why it wasn't able to validate your user credential with the AD. So in that case, you have to log in with the, um, you have to log in with the local admin, and then you have to remove the machine, uh, remove the machine from the domain, and then rejoin the machine with the domain. That's the solution. All right. So, so this is the machine I want to figure out actually what's my local admin username and also I will reset the password. So the, the process is um, you have to have a Windows ISO file. If it is a, um, if, it, if, it, if either it is a virtual or physical. So virtual is pretty easy. You can just, uh, you just need to have the ISO file on your data store, uh, in your, on your data store. And um, if it is a, physical machine, in that case, you have to download the ISO file locally on your laptop or desktop, and or maybe one of the jump server in your environment. And then you have to open your browser and log in that server through the, if it is a physical, that server through the remote console. That means if it is a HP, then log into the ILO. If it is, um, uh, what is called, uh, Dell, then, Login through the iDirect, and if it is something else, login through the IPMI. And also, if you have a KVM, then log into the KVM, and then attach a virtual CD ROM and attach the ISO file to this virtual CD ROM, and then boot the machine. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, mine is a uh, virtual machine, so I'm going to right click. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to power off the machine. You can say shut down guest OS, which is gracefully shut down. 
I don't have enough time. I just I just want to bring power off directly. So it's going to be quick power off. All right. So this is the machine. I'm going to go edit option. And then, uh, say for example, you, in your case, it was like this, right? So you can just go back, go to the register file, and then browse from your storage. I don't know, whatever, you can have multiple storage, maybe multiple uh, ISO on the data store. So just from there, in my case, this is my ISO folder on my data store. And from there, I have to figure out actually which one actually the operating system I, I'm using on this machine is Windows 2016. So I need a Windows 2016 ISO file. So I'm looking for Windows 2016. And this is the Windows 2016 and click OK. And then make sure you connect it. So this is, it just attach the ISO, Windows ISO file. And then you have to do the booting option. So you have to look at for the boot option. You have to go to the VM options and the boot options. And from there, you have to just increase um, the boot delay time for a little bit to show you the screen. Or you can put it zero, it doesn't matter. But force bio setup, make sure you click this one and click OK. All right. So your uh, reconfiguration is done. Now you can power on the machine. Power on. So when you power on and then move your mouse on the screen, launch the console with the web console okay so then you will be able to see the virtual machine the machine i'm just looking for this one so i'm now i'm looking this machine's console okay and it's a, it shows the boot screen because we set it up for the boot option so you can just uh with the arrow key you can go to the boot option and check the priority of your CD-ROM. so most probably it's going to be like like this so you have to change it back how are you going to change it back? Because you're with your plus and minus uh, key, um, uh, key from your keyboard. So make sure it is on top, all the way top. And then go to the exit and hit enter. And then save exit, yes. And then whenever you see it's starting from the window, you can boot and it says hit the space bar. Because then it says the boot from CD-ROM and then it has a dot. One, the first dot when you see, just immediately Hit any key from your keyboard. So I always press on spacebar because spacebar is uh, big, so you can easily uh, uh, press on it. And then Windows Setup. So this is the same way the way you install the operating system. So now, All right, so this is exactly the screen you see when you install the operating system. All right, so you guys just click next and don't hit install now because our target is not to install the operating system. So go to the repair your computer. And you will you will see three options, continue, troubleshoot, and turn off the PC. The troubleshoot, click on troubleshoot and go to the command prompt. It will open a command prompt like this. So you have to figure out actually which drive has um, your windows, right? So we can try different different drives. So for we know C drive, but in here it's not gonna be show as a C. Look at this C and DIR, it shows nothing, right? And how about D drive? There's no D drive. Our E drive. And the DIR directory. Now I'm able to see here there is a Windows directory. That means my operating system is on E drive. Actually, C drive, but in this case, it shows on E. <clears throat> All right. So uh, now I just need to go inside, go to um, inside the Windows. Folder, so just you can type CD and then Windows. Hit enter, 
Now I'm inside of Windows folder. Then I need to go to a uh, system 32 folder. So CD system 32. So now I'm inside of system 32, right? <clears throat> now this, <clears throat> this is the time. You have to run this two command. <clears throat> you have to run this two command. Then you, uh, utilman dot exe space utilman dot exe dot old. So exactly I'm typing this. Ram utilman dot exe space utilman dot exe dot old and hit enter. All right. And then copy cmd dot exe space utilman dot exe utilman dot exe all right one for copy right so we are done from here and you can see exit so don't worry about this um i'll share um i'll put this one on on the um, video, so it's on the description box, I'll put this command, so you'll get it. And now we are done, we just read two commands, and now hit continue, So now it's gonna be booted again, but don't press anything right now, because now we don't wanna do any Windows boot, we want to the Windows operating system, so just don't uh, press anything. I'm just running. Um, The machine is a little bit slow, that's why it's taking time, but uh, whenever you do um, in the real field, like that is in your organization, like hopefully it will not take that long. So you're pretty close. Okay, send, control, alter, delete. Six, send, control, alter, delete. And so the is the only uh, <clears throat> it should be look like this. So look like this lab. You have you can use your <clears throat> uh, domain domain username, right? But somehow domain trust is broken. So uh, signing to this lab is not gonna work. If any domain user not gonna work. Our target is to log in as a local admin, right? But we don't know the local admin. That's why we did all those process, right? So now what you can do. How you know, how you figure out the local admin and reset the password. So if you look at on the right, all the way right bottom, you can see here, if you move your mouse, it says easy of access. Previously, that option wasn't there. That option wasn't there because the reason is now is showing here because we ran this two command. So just click here. Then it will open uh, CMD, which will mandatory you see here, system 32, it will mandatory you here. And then you can run this command, control user passwords too. And then it will show you whatever the available local admin in your server or in your machine, right? And then the password, password is up to you, whatever the password you want. But I, as a demonstration, I want to show you guys what I'm going to put it. And I want to prove it, this work. Okay, so uh, control space user password has passwords two, number two, and then hit enter. It will open an, another window 
And from the user account window, you will be able to see. Now I have only one, and also I have the default one. It isn't renamed, but in your case, maybe it can be different because if it is renamed, and also maybe you can have multiple um, local admin. Anyway, so our target is to reset this one, right? We already got the username, which is administrator, local admin, and we want to reset. So we're gonna reset with test admin one, two, three, four, five, dollar bank. Reset T um yeah, T E S T test admin one, two, three, four, five, dollar and bank. So confirm password, test admin one, two, three, four, five, dollar bank. Okay. So reset is done and we can say, okay. <coughs> Exit. All right. So now we can log in here, right? But if you type administrator, it's gonna look for syslab administrator. So in that case, you have to, what do you have to do? You have to change sign in to options. How are you gonna change it? You can say color it like this and then uh, slash, you see, now it shows the machine name. So you can do it this way, either uh, like um, you can you can, you can can type the uh, machine name, which is SL, BP, W, OPT, right, OPT. So you can do like this, either way, this way, or, or you can just type, type dot and slash, Make sure this slash, which is backslash, right? And type the username, which is administrator. Administrator and the password. So what is our password? T-E-S-T -E test, right? A-D-M-I-N, one, two, three, four, five, dollar bank. And I'm trying to prove it's exactly the same one, right? And then click. Okay. Wonderful. We are able to log in with our new password. We reset it. So we reset this password, but now here is another problem. What is the problem? Now your machine is under security threat. What is the security threat? Because when you lock the machine, you say you can sign out, okay? You sign out, right? So when you sign out, for some reason, if any stranger or many hacker, anyway, they can get this console and easily when they click like send control alter delete and here. So when, it, when they click here, they can get this button, easy of access. So we need to remove it because we cannot leave it like this because of the security, right? Because you're gonna get the same thing. And if anybody knows the command, how to reset it, you can change your uh, password, right? Local admin password. So don't leave it like this. So what we have to do, we have to restoring ultimate, because uh, we have to restoring this util man like exe. So, we have to do the same kind of process and we have to run this command, the below two command. And then it's not gonna show anymore. So that's what also we're gonna prove now. Now we're gonna prove it also. So what we have to do? We have to do the same process. We have to reboot the machine. So we have to reboot the machine. I believe we have the ISO file attached already. We don't need to attach it because we didn't detach it. So we, we can go for it. What I can do, I can say restart guest. Yes. And then open, open the console. And from the console, from the console, what are you going to do? It's just restarting. It's on the process of restarting. So when it's going to start booting, boot from CD DOM. After the first dot, immediately hit spacebar or any other key from your keyboard. I'm just going to, I'm just waiting.
So this is how we can figure out um, local admin user and password. All right, all right, it's loading and okay. And Windows setup, this is how we install the operating system. The exact, exactly same way you have to go back again. It's loading. All right, so click next and repair. So exactly same option. And then troubleshoot, command prompt. And we already know our uh, operating system is on e, is e drive in this case. Actually it's on C drive, but in this case it's, it's gonna be E. But make sure when you do it, please check it. The way I did like with the DI, DI, directory command. So you can see Windows is there, right? Windows is here. See? So all right, what I need to do, CD Windows. Then enter CD system 32, hit enter, and then run this command, which is the first command is REN, which is this, this, this command, which is this command, and then we're gonna run this command, right? So run space uh, util man dot exe space util man dot exe dot new and then copy util man dot exe util man dot exe dot old the old one and then util man dot exe Hit enter. So one pull copy, that's it, done. Then we can exit from here and then continue on the server. Now it can. All right, so in this time, don't press anything because we are not doing any Windows installation part. So just leave it like this. All right, we are almost done. We are pretty close. We just need to test. The operation is done. We just need to test. All right, so uh, send control order delete. And see here. Okay, so now, it shows navigation. Before, when I click here, it gives me what? The CMD command prompt, right? But right now it's not giving me CMD command prompt. Now it's showing something else, which is the regular, which is normal. But previously, when we ran these two commands, then after that, when we come this screen, and we only click here, it gives us a CMD command prompt. But right now it's not giving us because we block it, right? Through this command, right? We are storing this command. So that's all. This is the process, complete process. And thank you, thanks for watching this video. And if you think this video is helpful, Please give a big thumbs up and also share this video with your friends uh, who need it. And if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. 
and also don't forget to click the bell icon um thank you thanks again thanks for watching